Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today the special video has come, alright? So today I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to do surgeries, alright? Uh, this is a very very requested video so I decided to make it and hopefully it's gonna help you out doing your surgeries. Alright guys, so to do surgeries you might know a few things already. So. We're gonna start with the surgical pack itself in the shop. So you find the item pack in the item pack section where you can find it a little bit down here. It's a surgical kit, all right? It costs 12,000 gems, so you can see it's quite expensive and you get uh, some of the tools. You get five tools every pack and you get a hospital bed, heart monitor, and uh, that's all the things you get. So uh, I'm gonna go through every single tool, uh, some things that you can use to get less skill fail, and um, yeah, we're gonna hop right into it. Okay, so before we start, I also wanna show you this little robot right here. This is called a Surge E-Bot, and it's just like a patient. If you don't have a bed, and if you wanna do surgeries when you don't have that many people in your world, you can just use a Surge E-Bot, which costs around 10 to 15 per word lock, so it's not that expensive. Okay, before we start, I wanna talk about skill fails, okay? Okay, so if you've never done surgeries before, you will have a skill of uh, zero, a surgeon skill zero. Is that you will have a lot of fails in your surgery. Uh, so when you use, for example, a scalpel, you're gonna, it's gonna say skill fail, uh, the person is gonna bleed, and it's gonna mess up the surgery for you. So the more surgeries you do, if you do 100 surgeries, you reach surgeon skill level 100, which means that you get a lot less skill fails, okay? But there is a tool that you can use in the beginning or whenever you want to get less skill fail. And there are two items currently in the game that I know about uh, that you can use to reduce the skill fails. That is the T that you get from T tea machines, uh, you can buy them uh, and you can harvest them every single day if I'm right and you get tea from them and they will reduce your skill fail and they also taste very good. A clothing item that you can use to get less skill fail is the uh, uh, stethoscope. It costs around 5 diamond locks and it gives you a lot less skill fails. It also stacks with the uh, tea so you can use both teas and stethoscopes. Okay, now when we've explained skill fail and what clothing you can use to reduce your skill fail, let's get right into it. So we have a set of tools, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna go into a surgery here so I can show you what everything does. Okay, so now we got the surgery panel up here and we have a few things that we have to look for. Uh, we see that his temperature is rising uh, very rapidly actually. Uh, that means you have to get down the fever uh, he is also not diagnosed, which means that you have to use a ultrasound. Um, during this tutorial, I will also explain uh, what the tools does. Um, but it's gonna be logical, okay? It's gonna make sense. So right here, you can see that the fever is climbing rapidly, but you have no tool that you can use uh, the antibiotic that you can use to reduce his temperature. That means that you have to use a lab kit Lab kits gives you the uh, ability to may use the uh, antibiotic. So when I press the lab kit now, I can see, oh, okay, so uh, his fever, oh, I got a skill fail as well. So skill fail 7%. Uh, that means that I m messed up, uh, I didn't have T, I I didn't have stethoscope, and therefore I was unlucky and got a skill fail. That means I have to use the same tool again, but as you can see his fever is getting high okay so I'm gonna be very okay so I have to be be careful now because his fever if it reaches if the fever if the temperature rises till uh, 110 or above uh, it's he's gonna die and you're gonna fail so now I can now use the antibiotic which is gonna reduce his uh, fever so now I can just keep doing the uh, antibiotic until his temperature is okay. In this case, this was a flu, which makes it's very easy. All you gotta do is use the lab kit and then use antibiotic until um, until 
is good. So there was nothing else to worry about and usually you want to get the fever down before you start. Alright, next surgery. So now we can see that the patient has not been diagnosed yet. Uh, we don't have to worry about that before we got everything clear over here. Okay, uh, so now we can see he's bleeding, which means that, oh, he's bleeding, so we have to make sure he's not bleeding uh, before we start. So bleeding is important to get away before you start doing the surgery. What happens if you don't make him stop bleeding? He's gonna get weaker and weaker until he dies, okay? So now to stop the bleeding, you use surgical stitches right here, and that's gonna stop the bleeding. There we go, perfect. So now everything is pretty clear. Uh, the, the only thing that we have to make it green is the temperature. So to do that, we use the lab kit, which makes us able to use the antibiotics. Then we use antibiotic to reduce the temperature. So now he's strong, he's, he's like, he's not too warm, and yeah, everything is okay basically. So now we have to find out what's wrong with this patient. patient. So uh, to find that out, you have to use ultrasound. Ultrasound, ultrasound will uh, tell you what's wrong with the patient and you will get further information on what to do. So now let's use a ultrasound. Okay, so the patient has swallowed a word lock. That's good to know, that's good to know. Um, now we can see some things now. Uh, we don't have to worry about this, it's not important at all. It's becoming hard to see your work. That means that you have to use a sponge, but I don't usually do that because it's not necessary. But the important thing here is to make him sleep before we use scalpels. Scalpels will open up, uh, it will make incisions, and you have to keep doing that until this is green. And when this is green, you should be able to uh, fix him. So, uh, but what if we, we can't really scalpel him? We can't really cut in him before he's sleeping, you know? He's awake. So we have to be careful and use anesthetic. Anesthetic is, is the thing that makes him sleep, okay? It's gonna make him fall asleep and he, you can then use scalpels. Oh no, we got a skill fail! Look at that! Okay, so uh, it's red, then the only thing we can use is uh, the sponge. So when, when this happens, so when this happens, you have to use the sponge. Uh, you can't really do anything else, uh, so just use the sponge and everything is back to normal, okay? Now, let's repeat that. Let's go over with anesthetic, which will put him to sleep. There we go, now he's unconscious, it's green, and then it's it's all good, okay? Now we can freely cut in him, and we can finish the surgery. So now we press scalpel, which is gonna make a incision, and we're gonna have to keep doing that until it's green. So, another one. Oh no! His heart stopped. Okay, so this is important. If his heart stops, that's, it's important for you to use defibrator, okay? You have to use the defibrator or else it's gonna die. Okay, there we go. We got, he's still asleep, he, all the incisions are done, and everything is good to go. Now, when you've reached a certain amount of incisions, you just gotta use stitches until this is zero again. There we go, perfect. So now all we gotta do is just press fix it. And there we go, we're done with the surgery. That's easy. And now we can see again, okay. So he's losing blood and we have to be careful that we make sure that he's not bleeding when we start surgering. So the first thing we gotta do is use the stitch to stop bleeding and there we go. It's all perfect. And now we have to find out what's wrong with this patient, so we gotta use ultrasound to reveal, uh, to di diagnose him. So the ultrasound, ah, I got a skill fail, that means we just gotta use it again. There we go, perfect. So the patient broke his leg, and that means we gotta fix his one bone, uh, it's one broken bone and one shattered bone. It's very easy to fix, uh, and I'm gonna tell you how to do that right now. So to fix broken bones, you gotta use splint. Uh, broken bones, you can fix those uh, before doing any incisions. So I'm gonna show you that right now. I just used a splint and it fixed the broken bone. Now, to fix the shattered bone, you have to make a incision. And there we go, I just forgot to use the anesthetic. So that's what happens if you 
don't use anesthetic when you use a scalpel. Well, that was that was dumb. Uh, I guess I just have to go grab a uh, legal brief. And when you fail a surgery, you will get a malpractice mod enabled, okay? This means that you cannot do any surgeries in 59 minutes. There is one way though to fix this. You can use a tool or a clothing item that's called uh, which is called legal briefs. Legal briefs. Here we go. Legal briefs. This is a clothing item that you can use when you fail, but this is expensive. It costs around 15 to 18 word locks and it's not very worth it if you're just doing surgeries uh, for fun. And as you can see now, the uh, malpractice mod is removed and now I can do surgeries again. Now we will stumble upon a, a little bit more difficult surgery, but it's gonna be all fine. So the only thing we can do right now is use the sponge. So I've fixed him and now I have all the tools that I can use over here. So let's see, he has not been diagnosed yet, his fever is good, so that's good. Uh, this is not important, this operation site, you don't have to worry about that to be honest, you don't have to think about it. Uh, but he's losing blood though, and that's the most important part, you have to make him all steady before you start doing the surgery itself. So now we just gotta use stitches, which is gonna reduce the blood, and now he's not bleeding anymore. Um, now, we have to find out what's wrong with this patient, so we gotta use ultrasound again. Oh no, serious trauma? Okay, okay, this is gonna be all good. So, uh, in this situation, I would maybe care about operation sites. A little bit more difficult surgeries, I would recommend using uh, cleaning him up and uh, to reduce skill fails. Uh, to clean him up, I would recommend you to use antiseptic until he's clean, okay? Now you can see he's clean and he's good to go. And now I can also see that his fever is slowly rising. So maybe I should take care of that before he gets too hot. So to do that, we have to use the lab kit to enable us to use the antibiotics. And then we use the anti antibiotics to reduce his temperature. Okay. Now we have this weird two broken bones and one shattered that I didn't manage to show you last time. To fix broken bones, you just press splint, okay? You just splint them until broken bones are not there anymore. To fix shattered bones, you have to use pins. But to use pins, you have to open them up one time or two times first. So before we can open them up, we have to remember to use the anesthetic so he's not awake. Now when this is green, this is green, this is green, um, and everything is all good, we can use the scalpel, and now we can see the pins. Now we can use pins, and that will make the bone turn into a broken bone instead. And we can wait with that for now. Just fix all the shattered bones and then we can keep going. Okay, so now we have to do the required amount of incisions uh, before we can close him up and finish the surgery. So to do that, we just press the scalpel to open him up once more. And now we can see this is green. Uh, the only thing we can do now when this happens is use the sponge, it's nothing to worry about. And now we have to close him up, so we gotta use two stitches. Okay, so all, everything is done except the broken bone, which is a splint and that's super easy. I got a skill fail, but that doesn't matter. Okay, we're all good. And now we just gotta fix it in the end. And there we go, we're done with the surgery. Okay, uh, this seems like an easy one, nothing to worry about in the beginning here, we just gotta diagnose him because he's not bleeding, his fever is not rising, so we just gotta diagnose him by using the ultrasound, and there we go, he got a brain tumor deep inside, okay? This is a little bit more difficult one, you gotta use quite a few uh, scalpels and stitches, I will show you that in a second. So in this one, I would just recommend you using the antiseptic to clean him up. You can do that every time, by the way, if you just want to make everything easier to, to understand. But yeah, I usually clean him up on more difficult surgeries. So now everything is green and good. So now we can just put him to sleep and we can start scalpeling him. One incision, two incisions, three incisions. We just gotta keep going until it's green. Oh no, heart stopped and sponge. Okay, so I gotta use a sponge 
And now I have to use the death liberator before he dies. Oh, we're lucky, okay. Now, just use a sponge when this happens. Okay, we can keep going. We can use a scalpel again. Oh no, sponge again. And also... Okay, so now you can see that he's coming too. In this situation, you have to be careful. Uh, you have to be very careful. You have to use the anesthetic before he's awake. If he wakes up, you're gonna be in trouble. Just to be on the safe side, we put him to sleep. And now everything is fine. Let's use another sponge. And now we can use stitches. So as you can see, he's losing blood. And you have to close his incisions. Uh, and the stitches will do both those. So let's just use the stitches. Just use the sponge when this happens. But then we gotta keep going with stitches. Until uh, incisions is at zero. Just keep using sponges. Keep using stitches until incisions is at zero. There we go. Now we can also see that his fever is slowly rising. So to fix that, we just use a lab kit. We use a antibiotic. And yeah, that's all good. But now, only thing we have to do is fix it. Okay guys, I hope you understand some of the things in this tutorial. I tried my very best to explain this. It's maybe a little bit uh, long. The video might be a little bit long. But it's just because I want you to learn the basics. And it's actually a really... It's difficult to learn, but when you learn it, it's super simple. So this video is maybe like 20 minutes because I have to co I had to cover every everything that you had to know. So yeah, that was basically how to do surgeries. I will make a little page, a picture now uh, of all the tools and what they do. And uh, you can just take a screenshot of that and you can... Uh, you can then have it on your phone or on your computer and you can do surgeries while, while you learn them. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from this and I'll see you in the next video guys. Have a good day.